welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my first ever Trader Joe grocery haul. If you were here last month, you saw that I did the $25 Aldi haul, but this month I wanted to change it up and do a haul from Trader Joe's. A lot of these products I have not tried, but if you have, please let me know down in the comments if you tried it, you liked it, and if you would recommend it, and if there's a certain way to either make it or enjoy it. Let me know down in the comments. If you like grocery hauls, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know that you guys like this content. And if you're new here, make sure to click that subscribe button. Without any further ado, let's jump into the 2017 Summer Trader Joe's haul. All right, first thing in the bag. Oh, I love these. These are banana chips. I've never gotten them from Trader Joe's before, but this is the snack I have to portion out or else I would eat this entire bag in one sitting. No joke. I love these. Another snack I'm gonna have to portion are these tortilla chips. I do have something that goes along with these later on in the haul. I'm not sure where the nice lady put them in these bags. Uh, I got some whole wheat soft bread. I like to do picnics and it is on my summer bucket list to do a picnic somewhere downtown. So I'm getting into trying whole wheat bread staying completely away from white bread and I did see in someone's haul they recommended the soft Trader Joe wheat bread. I know some people swear against eating wheat and gluten and all of that. I don't cut anything out of my diet. I just call it a balanced diet where I'll have a little bit of everything and bread is no exception to that rule for me. If I have like a bagel for breakfast or a sandwich for lunch, I make sure to not have any bread for dinner. I don't need it for all of my meals in the day, but it is nice to include in the balanced diet. Oh, just like the next thing in here, chocolate chips. I'm not going to actually eat these out of the bag. Don't lie, I'm totally gonna eat these out of the bag. I'm going to make cookies. Um, if you did watch my summer bucket list video and giveaway, click right up there. It's on my bucket list to make something new every week and cookies are no exception to this goal. And I figured having some of these dairy-free, semi-sweet chocolate chips. I feel like I'm just getting excited over all of this food. Okay, so after I'm done filming this, I'm going to a summer like grill out party and we were all supposed to bring either a side dish or dessert. And I got a message that everybody already brought side dishes, bring a dessert. So I'm bringing Trader Joe's Dunkers cookies. And if no one else likes them, that's fine. I'll eat them myself. And I'm gonna have no friends at this party. But these are really good. I've had these at parties actually. And they're, they're designed where if you have milk, you can dunk them, hence the name Dunkers. But you don't actually need milk. They're really just chocolate chip cookies where half of them, like half the cookie has been dunked in chocolate. So it's like a chocolate chip cookie with more chocolate. I'm not excited about this haul at all. Nope. Oh, do you guys like my t-shirt? It says, the ocean is my boyfriend. And I got this shirt when I worked on cruise ships. Uh, if you missed that video, I'll link it above in the cards, of course, blah, blah, blah. But um, this is what I wore. My actual real life boyfriend loves that I wear this in public. Um, a few weeks back, I tried uh, HelloFresh and they had us make sweet potato mash, like mashed potatoes with sweet potato. And I thought that sounded so disgusting. I was like, this is gonna be horrible. I'm putting butter and cinnamon into these boiled sweet potatoes and then like mashing them up. It was amazing. Amazing enough that I saved the recipe card and now just bought two sweet potatoes. So two nights in the future, I can have sweet potato mash. These are phenomenal. I've never found any way I liked sweet potato before. Unbelievable. Mm. Mm. Hello Fresh, you get 10 points from me. Oh, what's in here? Oh, to me, the sign of summer is having fresh peaches. I know that's more of a Southern thing and I am not Southern at all, y'all. But, <laughs> but to me, having fresh peaches, I don't even need them baked in anything. I can just have one. I'll chill it for like 10 minutes. They're nice and cold. Take it outside the pool, just enjoy it. Sign of summer right here. And then I've been getting into drinking a glass of water every morning when I wake up. And I decided to buy, there's two or three of these in the bag. I'm only gonna pull out one. I got some lemon. If you have not done this yet, cut a lemon like either in half or in third and just squeeze the juice into a glass and then fill the rest of the glass up with ice water and start your morning. I am not a morning person, but this wakes me up. Highly recommend it. Moving on to the frozen bag. People are actually staring like, it's a good thing I do theater and I don't care. 
Can you stay out? All right, in the frozen bag department, we have Trader Joe's Mexican style roasted corn. Never tried this. I saw this at the end of the aisle in the frozen section and said, you know what? I'm a really big fan of like corn salsa. I will try this. I have no idea if this is an entree, a side. I don't know. What am I supposed to do? Do I just eat this? Is this the dinner? Maybe I'd mix this with like a chicken breast. This. These here are Asian vegetables with Beijing style soy sauce. I have an abundance of rice still in my home, so I figured I could make a pot of white rice and then have the vegetables on it. I try to incorporate Meatless Monday into my schedule, and sometimes I try to do like Monday, Wednesday, Friday as Meatless. To be honest, it's really whatever I have in my house and whatever is easiest, but having entrees like veggies and, you know, corn entrees, these make having Meatless days a lot easier. And I am in no way a vegetarian. I was not raised as such. I like to, again, have the balanced diet. And third reason is I'm Greek. And if I told my Greek family I didn't eat meat, here's the response I would get. What do you mean you don't eat no meat? Moving on. Oh, big fan of this. I actually have gone through two tubs in the last couple months. This is the Earth Balance Butter Spread. It's more of like a vegan butter, and I have been vegan before, as I've just said, I'm not vegetarian. I had to cut weight for a show once, and I did it by going vegan for a couple weeks, and this is the one thing that I really did like, was this Earth Balance butter. It spreads like butter, tastes like butter. The fact that it doesn't have any dairy in it is amazing. Oh, to go with that bread, I am trying for the first time the Trader Joe's Wine Country Chicken Salad. It's white chicken with cranberries and pecans. This will probably go on that wheat bread that I bought when I had to pack lunches or go on picnics. I've never tried chicken salad. I usually get potato salad, but this is my first Trader Joe's salad of any kind. If you tried this, please let me know if it's good as like a dip or anything. I would love to hear your guys' comments. Two things to go. I have become the world's biggest like morning berry smoothie person. I did the green smoothie challenge as you saw if you've been here before, but I am loving making berry smoothies in the morning. It's just a half cup of orange juice, half cup water, quarter cup um, non-flavored and non-fat Greek yogurt, and a whole bunch of berries. Banana, half a banana, cup of blueberries, and maybe a couple strawberries, but perfection in your glass for breakfast. And last to go with those chips is the Trader Joe's Home Style Salsa Especio. That's what it's called. Medium. Hopefully, this will get the approval of my boyfriend. If you guys have any recommendations on salsas to get at Trader Joe's, there were literally like 10 to 12 different options of Trader Joe's salsa, so I just picked the one that I thought looked interesting. I picked the one the lady next to me picked because she looked like she'd shop there a lot. But if you have any recommendations of salsa, let me know. But anyway, that is my Trader Joe's haul. If you have any recommendations of things to buy from Trader Joe's, things that you personally liked and would recommend to somebody, please let me know again down in the comments. If you like these videos, make sure to give them a thumbs up. And once again, if you're new here, click the subscribe button. It'll update you anytime I upload a future video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great summer and I'll see you in the next one. We gotta put this back. People are staring. Don't you go through your bag in the parking lot, sir.